Hi, and uh, welcome to episode 3 of my uh, how to play X-Wing miniatures game from Fantasy Flight. And today we will take a look at a round, uh, a movement sequence and an attack sequence. Um, so you can see how that uh, goes on. And I will show you uh, a die rolls. Uh, which cancels which, and I will show you how to use uh, the action tokens that uh, I showed you um, in the previous videos. I will also show you the use of target locks. Um, but let's take a look. We got, I have found the classic X-Wing and of course uh, the TIE Fighter that I used for example in the previous videos. I will place them, the X-Wing outside the view of your screen and down in the bottom I will place the uh, TIE Fighter. So, in a round, when you agree, you are ready to move etc. You will start by using your dial and setting it to whatever you feel like. Um, I will set the TIE Fighter to move two straight and you will place it near the uh, ship face down. And I will then place the uh, X-Wing style. And let's see what we are going to do. And I will place it here. Okay, in the basic rules, the Empire always goes first. So we will use that rule of initiative in this video until I get uh, get to make the advanced videos where you will probably uh, see another initiative or I can promise that you will see another way to play with initiative but this is totally basics so the empire goes first and if you remember what I said about pilot skill and initiative, this still goes on. Lowest pilot skill is moving first. And I this was the academy pilot from the Empire and I have chosen the rookie pilot from the Rebels. If I can would zoom. Well right, never mind. But it's a rookie pilot. So, let's start the movement, on goes the Empire, and then you turn, and as you can see, I chose the two forward maneuver, you will put your movement template between those two knobs on the uh, bottom of the ship, and you will move like this. And this is where you need to take an action. And I will choose the evade action for the purpose of seeing that in action. And then I reveal the rebel player, or the rebel player reveal his style. And move. I have chosen two straightforward for him as well. And you move here. And he needs to take an action. And he will, in this case, take a focus and put it beside the ship. Okay, that was movement phase and action phase from both players. You will take, every time you move a ship, you will take the, the, the action phase right after. 
Um, and then we move straight to combat phase. And in combat phase, the highest pilot skill, in this case the rookie pilot, will shoot first. And if you remember, I have told you about um, range with uh, the range ruler. You will then measure the shortest distance between the two. And as you can see, this is, I can't see it straight, but this is actually range 2. Just by a millimeter or so. But you need to measure from shortest to shortest. So in this case, it will be range 2. So that's none. You Neither the attacker nor the defender will get any dices extra. Bonus dices. But you will attack first, and he got, uh, as you can see on this card, the red number is three. So I will roll three dices. Let's see. Okay, I got two focuses and a blank result. And I need, as the attacker, to modify those dices first. And I will, of course, use this focus token. This will then turn all the eyes on the die into hits. Remember the fill-in star on the dices? So I turn all the eyes on my dices into hits and put the token besides the, the table again. This is no longer in use in this round. So I remove the blank result and that means I have hit with two hits. Now it is the academy pilot from the Empire who will roll the number of green dices stated on this card, the green number, and it is also Three. So I will roll three green dices. And as you can see, I rolled two evades and a blank result. The blank result is moved. I got one evade, two evade, and one evade cancels one hit. The other evade cancels another hit. This means I won't be using the evade that I have put besides uh, the ship here in the action phase. And the Empire ship doesn't get hit. So now it's the other way around. Now it's the lowest number in turn to, to shoot. So I will take this in this case two red dices stated on the card. We are not at range one, so that's just two dices. And I got one hit. Um, I just need to find... Oh, I need my shields. This X-Wing got two shields, so we need to remember that. You always need to remember all your stuff, uh, believe me, if you start playing tournaments, etc. Um, the Empire hit one hit, and I will roll for the rookie pilot. He got two green dices, so let's see. I rolled an evade, and an eye. So, no hits. The evade cancels the hit and I can make use of the eye so the dice is just cancelled. Okay, you saw how I moved. Um, if in the ca this case, let's say 
the Empire moves first. I choose. Um, three straight like this you can see the ship can't be there you will move up to uh, the x-wing and you make what is called a bump when you bump you will lose your actions so you will not take any actions this round um, in this case, the X-Wing can, just to show you another, if the X-Wing chooses the 4 red U-turn, named a K-turn, a color gun turn, you will take the 4 straight, and in this case, you can move the Empire, the Empire ship, by putting a 1 on the side, like this. Move the Empire ship. Now it's a bit tricky because I only have two hands. X-Wing players are usually very, very uh, helpful to make you move, make your moves. So in this case, the color gun turn means that, as you can see, I turned the ship around at the end. And I will just place this the correct way again. Um, and once you make a red maneuver, you will take a stress token. You put that beside your ship. Um, in this case, the Empire can't shoot back, but you can shoot at him. Uh, let's make a scenario here. I am very lucky. The rebel is very lucky, and as he can't take any actions. Uh, by the way, the rebel, when you become stressed, you can't make actions either, unless it's stated uh, otherwise on any cards, etc., which we will uh, be talking about in a later episode. We will just do it like this. This means that the TIE Fighter will take 3 damage, which means the TIE Fighter is destroyed. He will take 3 damage cards. Um, I will show you the damage cards in just a second. Um, there are two types of damage cards, as you can see. Uh, there are difference in the back under the cards. I have put a rubber band around mine so they won't uh, get uh, <laughs> get unsorted. <laughs> um, we will take the standard old, the first damage card set, and you will once you get hit, you will take damage cards with the back up. If you score a critical hit, and that critical hit is not defended, then, let's see, I got two hits and a critical. Then I will take the two hits, one, two, and turn the, whoopsie, and turn the last around for a critical hit, in this case a direct hit, as you can see, the direct hit deals 2 damage to the ship, so this particular card counts as 2 normal damage cards. So you will keep that face up, I'll just collect the one I threw on the floor. So this ship is gone, and the rebel ship have, has won this little shootout. Okay. So, next up, I will show you, just to uh, show you like this, these are both, oh, that's just, we, we'll do this, it's more fun, shooting down rebels. <laughs> 
In this case, the rebel can't shoot, so the Empire will shoot, and he this Academy pilot has two dices as I wrote before when he attacked. But since he is within range one, he's within range one of uh, the rebel player, he will add another die to his attack roll. While the defensor Defender only has what is stated on his pilot card. With me so far? In the other way around. We will just do like this. Doesn't matter. As you can see, I've put the ships on range 3 of each other. Um, this means we will shoot with the Empire first. Later. The Empire. The rebel has shot and a miss. So we will just play with the Empire. Empire got two attack dices. He will keep it at two attack dices. While the rebel ship, the X Wing, two attack dices. And because he is at range three, he will get another attack die. So he got three attack dice in uh, instead of the normal two. Because he is at range 3. Okay. And now I will show you a bit how the shields work. Um, these are not the normal shield token that is uh, with the game. Uh, this is something I won. Um, or actually something I got uh, in a tournament. So let's just uh, watch this. Okay, the Empire hits on range three, and the Rebel rolls this. The one evade cancels the one hit. The one hit goes into the X Wing, um, and he will. In this case, because he has shield tokens, he will remove one shield token and put it away. So he only has one shield. In case that the hit actually was a crit, you will still only remove one uh, shield token. And because of this, shields are pretty good because they basically ignore hits and crits. Um, if we were at range 1, and this was the uh, rows, then I would remove two shields and take a damage card uh, to the X-Wing. Because the two first are basically ignored, and the last one is hitting the hull of the X-Wing. Okay. And now the last. Oh. The second to last. In this uh, episode. The evade token on the Empire TIE Fighter. Um, and we will check both. And I have... A tackle lock. The X-wing has a tackle lock on the Tie Fighter. Okay. First of all, the X-wing attacks, and he rolls the die. Let's see if it doesn't roll. But okay. Now, I got a hit and a crit and a blank result. You can see the blank result right there. Um, in this case, the rebel has a tackle lock. A tackle lock works like this. You can reroll any number of dice of your choosing. So, in this case, I will choose to use my tackle lock on this one die. And I'll check the tackle lock and remove it. And put it besides my card or wherever you feel like it uh, once you get into the game. 
and I will take this die and re-roll it. So it was a good re-roll. Um, and then the TIE Fighter, which is fully healed, miraculously will roll his three defense die. Uh, this was just like this. So one away it goes to this, another away it goes to this. It's always the hits before the crits. Uh, and now, because he has taken a evade action, he will say, I will use my evade token. And the evade token is basically a free evade roll on the die. Count as an extra evade roll. So, the TIE Fighter is gone from damage, no damage. So this was it from episode 3 in the how to play Star Wars X-Wing miniatures. Hope that you uh, enjoyed it and would like to see more. Uh, comment on my videos, subscribe to my channel and like videos also. See you soon. Bye bye.